Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. Today, in this session, we shall study the general characters of phylum Podifera. The term Podifera has been taken from Greek language, in which poros is a word that means pores and fere means to bear. The name Podifera was coined by Robert Grant in 1836 AD. The members of this group are the simplest multicellular animals. These are also called sponges. They have numerous pores in their body, so often called pore bearing animals. This phylum includes about 10,000 different species. The common examples of phylum Podifera include Saikon. Saikon is also called Orn Sponge. It has vase shaped body. U Spongia or the bath sponge having a rounded body. U Plectella, Spongilla, Hyalonema, these are the common examples of phylum Podifera. Out of these, most members are marine. The members of Spongilidae family are only freshwater. Spongilla is a freshwater organism. Now, let us talk about general characters, means the characters found in most of the members. They have cellular grade of body organization. Tissues and organs are absent. The different activities of the life are performed by the body cells. Most of the members marine. However, some members are found in freshwater also. So we say they are all aquatic, mostly marine except the members of family Spongilidae. We have just seen the Spongilla, member of family Spongilidae, freshwater species. Others are marine. These are all sedentary, having no locomotory structure. Sedentary means animals that remain fixed at one place, that do not move. The terms similar to this have been discussed in our previous video. So sedentary means members that remain attached. In sponges, there is no locomotory structure and these animals remain fixed at one place, so-called sedentary. In them, body is diploblastic. Remember the meaning, body has two germinal layers, two cellular layers, outer ectoderm, inner endoderm. And here, in this case, when we see the body wall of sponges in sectional view, very clearly seen inner layer of cells are different from other cells. These cells are flagellated cells forming the inner layer and are called coonocyte. A coonocyte is a flagellated cell. Here we see the nucleus towards the base and a long thread-like flagellum. At the base of the flagellum we see several microvilli forming a collar-like structure. So these cells are called coonocyte and this layer is called coanoderm. Endoderm here called coanoderm because it is made up of coonocytes. The outer layer of the body wall includes flat cells. These flat cells are called pinacocytes. And that's why this layer is called pinacoderm, thus outer pinacoderm, inner coanoderm, just two different layers in the body wall 
animals called diploblastic. In between these two layers, there is a gelatinous substance called mesoglia or mesohyle, in which some other materials are seen. These are spiny structures which form the skeletal materials. These are called spicules. So in between these two layers, non-cellular material is there. The members of this phylum may be asymmetrical or radially symmetrical. Asymmetrical means no two sides similar and radially symmetrical means body parts radially arranged around a central axis. In these members, locomotory structures are absent. That's why all are sedentary. The body surface bears numerous pores. These pores are called ostia and oscula. Due to presence of numerous pores in the body, they are often called pore bearing animals. Here in this diagram, we see minute pores in the body wall. One, two, three different pores are there. These small pores present in the body wall are called ostia, singular ostium, plural ostia. These minute pores are for the entry of water current and the large pore may be one or many that one called osculum singular oscula plural. So ostia are for the entry of water and osculum for the exit of water current. Thus animals do not move but they maintain a regular water current through their body. The water current enters through the network of pores and canals. This is called canal system. Here the central body cavity is termed as a spongocele. Group name sponge. So the cavity is termed as a spongocele. The water current enters through ostia, reaches the spongocele and passes out of the body through osculum. This water current performs several duties of the body. In fact, the canal system helps in several activities. Let us see here. Surrounding water enters the body through ostia and passes out through oscula. They have well-developed canal system. The network of pores and canals, channels. This canal system helps in nutrition, respiration, excretion and reproduction. So all different vital activities of life performed with the help of canal system. Digestion intracellular taking place inside the cell means food materials are captured by the body cells from the passing water current and then digested inside the cell. Hence, it is called intracellular. A skeleton is the term that supports the body. So remember, a skeleton may be present or absent in sponges. If present, the skeletal materials include spicules or fibers or both. The spicules, spicules are thorny structure, thorn-like, spiny structure. These are the examples of different types of spicules found in the body wall of sponges. These are called skeletal materials. So spicules may be of different shape. This one monoaxon, monoaxon. Here tetraxon, here triaxon means three different axes are there. Thus, spicules are of different types in different sponges. These are of two main types according to their composition. They are called calcareous or siliceous. Calcareous means made up of calcium carbonate. Siliceous means made up of silica. So, these may be calcareous or siliceous or sometimes made up of spongin fibers. 
so certain members are with spicules some members are with fibers and in some cases both the skeletal materials are found so a skeletal material is one of the important feature for classification of poriferans in porifera group reproduction takes place by both the methods or sexual method and sexual method a sexual reproduction takes place by budding or gametes while sexual reproduction takes place by gametes in this group all the members are hermaphrodite hermaphrodite remember bisexual but cross fertilization is the rule a sponges possess a great power of regeneration that means if a body part is damaged the lost body part is regenerated reformed this is called power of regeneration power of regeneration is found in our nails in our hairs here power of regeneration in the entire body so this great power of regeneration one of the characteristic feature of sponges thus during the description of phylum porifera we mention the body organization habit habitat body structure and different life activities along with some special features this is all about general characters of phylum porifera this was for today in our next video we shall discuss the classification of phylum porifera so hope this session was useful stay tuned for upcoming videos see you in the next one thank you